Have you guys ever had like one of those crazy substitutes? I honestly think that they're the worst. They either rely like way too much on the kids or they rely way too much on themselves. Most of the time, it's never the teachers know that they rely on. I have three stories to tell you in this video. Here we go. The first one was when I was in fourth grade. I don't even remember what this teacher's name was. I don't think I remember any of these teachers' names, but she was sure a jerk. As we were walking into our classroom, she'd wave and she'd say good morning to us. Most kids were polite and, you know, just said good morning back, but there was this like really shy kid, and when she said good morning, he kept walking. Nobody really cared but her, so she grabbed him by the arm and pulled him back and got up in his face and said, say good morning. And that kid was terrified out of his mind, and so he whispered good morning. She must have not heard him because she slammed him up against the door and said it again. This time, he said it a lot louder. We had her up until lunch when a group of kids from my class and the other class next door, because they had seen this, went up to the principal's office and told the principal what she did. And I have not seen her since. Another time, this was just last year, the sub was a well-known sub. She was known to be really laid back and everyone knew this but like me. And I like laid back teachers, but this teacher was way too laid back. She handed us our homework and let everyone do what they just wanted to do. I finished my homework before speaking to anyone because I just wanted to get it done. And... Then I waited for my friends to get done so that we could sit and like talk quietly, like we're supposed to. And most of the boys, and some of the girls, not all of the girls, but mostly it was just all the boys. I don't think that there was a single boy in my classroom that was not doing this. We're standing on desks, running around, and the teacher did absolutely nothing. Then she wrote a bad report from her class, and we got in trouble. For the next like two weeks, all the class talked about was how cool that sub was, and when our math teacher got a hold of her, it was not pretty. She also got fired. Last one was on the bus. It was also fourth grade. For the past around week, we had been taking a different route, because the bridge that we normally go on was closed for remodeling, and it was like completely torn down and broken. And it even said on the paper the sub had that the road was closed and that we had to go a different route. And everyone on the bus was being loud and talking, but I glanced forward and I saw that the road was closed up ahead. And I was like, isn't that the bridge? And so I told my friends that we were going to it and we started yelling, the road is closed. Like, do not go in there. And pretty soon everyone was yelling that. He drove around the sign and we continued yelling at him as he kept driving down the road that was closed with a bridge that was probably about to collapse on it. And finally someone got up from their seat and told him that the road was closed face to face. And then, it's not over, he got up and he turned around, he stopped the bus, he turned around and started screaming at the top of his lungs for not telling him that the road was closed. First of all, you shouldn't even need children to tell you that the road is closed when there's a road closed sign and second of all we were <laughs> and yet again he was fired as well tell me some of your crazy sub stories in the comments or even crazy normal teachers <laughs> that made no sense so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely subscribe and i will see you guys in another animation or minecraft video some also oh i forgot to mute my discord that's great and she said she must have not heard him because when she slammed, okay, words, because she slammed, she must have not have heard, she must have not heard him because she slammed him up against the door and told him to say it again. And no, that's not what that says. And told the principal, and I have to sneeze. <coughs> that was a weird sneeze, okay. Oh, my ears popped. Um, where was I? We had her up until lunch. That's not where I was. When a group of kids... Okay, I'm just gonna start over.
this sentence. We, we had her up until lunch when a group of kids from my class and the other class, the other class right next to us was walking into their room when they saw this. And they went down to the office. We had her up until lunch in class and when a group of kids... That's not what that says. 